talk to Ashley. We have some viewer questions. Here, let's start with the first one. There's been some reports that people are still contracting COVID-19 even after being fully vaccinated. How common is that? It's not common, but I want to be crystal clear. We will see this. People should not be surprised. I've seen this on the lower thirds of some local news. Like it's a big shock that people will get infected with COVID-19 well after getting vaccinated. Remember, these vaccines are highly effective at saving lives and keeping people out of the hospital, in some cases 100% effective for that endpoint. They never said 100% effective to prevent infection. No vaccine is 100% uh, protective against infection. So rare, but again, that's why you have to be careful in the immediate two week window after having been vaccinated. And remember, 85%, 90%, 95%, is not 100%, so this will happen. All right, this next question, very interesting. Is it true developers behind the Pfizer vaccine believe their mRNA technology could be used to help fight cancer? Absolutely, this is true. And you guys, for some historical scientific context here, mRNA technology is brand new for vaccines. It is decades old for use potentially in the world of oncology, in cancer in particular for what's called targeted therapy or personalized therapy. So where certain tumors can be tailored to a vaccine that can wage an immune war on that tumor. That's where a lot of the excitement is. So again, it's, it's being used for the first time in vaccines, but in the world of cancer therapeutics, um, it's, it's a lot of excitement around this. All right, question three here from a concerned parent. My middle school and high school age kids are feeling overwhelmed and depressed lately with this new normal. What resources do you recommend to help them? Very common problem. First of all, acknowledge and recognize that this is almost ubiquitous. The teenagers are really kind of feeling the brunt of this pandemic. Number one, talk to them, lead by example. There's a lot out in the mental health world about that. Parents, if parents are freaking out, their teenagers are more likely to freak out. And then ask for professional help, pediatricians, mental health professionals. This is their wheelhouse. They do this for a living. You don't need uh, to reinvent the wheel yourself as a parent. So reach out for help. Yeah, so important. All right, you can submit your questions to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.